Uh, I just opened a package at the front door, and what? it's this body what? pillow with a blue lady. It's not, it? it's not a blue lady. That's Mara Sov. She's a, she's a character in Destiny. Why do you need that? I'm, I'm researching the lore. The lore. I'm learning about that. Oh, wait a sec. Hold on. Hold on. Is that a Mercado? No, oh, no. Is that a Mercado? With Onslaught? Onslaught demo? Hey, Finally. Oh, my God. What is up guys, it's your boy Rick Kakis, and today, after literally months, I finally got what I think is the god roll for the Mercado 45 Legendary Machine Gun. Like, honestly, it seems like Bungie didn't just turn off my streamer loot when it comes to the world drop weapons, they straight up gave my account negative RNG, because oh my goodness, the world drop weapons added into Destiny 2, especially with Season of the Wish, are actually incredible. Like, there are several really, really desirable world drop weapons now. However, the loot pool is pretty darn big, and when you get a legendary engram, you know, you can get armor as well in this loot pool. It's just really hard to farm for, but again, finally got it done and got this god roll. And this god roll, I think, is pretty huge for my account, and it's gonna be huge for any of you guys who get this as well. And that's because I think this is the new best in slot strand machine gun, the best strand machine gun in all of Destiny 2. Now, that's a pretty bold statement, but uh, the competition is a little bit lacking. In fact, there's only one other legendary strand machine gun in the entire game right now, and that is the Circular Logic. So uh, again, I think the Mercado is the best, but it's really only beating one thing. But with that being said, having the best in slot strand weapons is super important right now because strand weapons are juiced to the gills within Season of the Wish, thanks to the seasonal artifact perks Firstly, Unraveling Orbs, where picking up an Orb of Power will give Strand Weapons Unraveling Rounds, making them super, super powerful. Combine that with Horde Shuttle, where you damage unraveled targets, and then you're going to spawn Threadlings as well. And hey, you could even throw in a Torch here, where if you're Radiant, you deal increased weapon damage to combatants affected by Strand and Stasis debuffs, which Unraveling Rounds counts for one of those. So you have a strand machine gun that this season is doing unraveling as a debuff on enemies and it's spawning off threadlings to kill even more enemies. Like it's absolutely insane when you get this thing going. But frankly, this applies to any strand weapon. So what makes the Mercado so good? Well, taking a look at its only competition, the Circular Logic, I have the role here with Envious Assassin in the first column, increasing the magazine, quite a good perk. And then I have Demolitionist. Now you can also get Target Lock, which is going to be very, very good, as well as Golden Tricorn to provide a big damage increase, uh, you know, or Vorpal or Hatchling. It actually does have some pretty darn good rolls here. However, I just think the Mercado has it beat. First off, it actually gets Demolitionist in the left column, which is huge because when Demo is in the right column, it's competing with all those other damage increasing perks. But with the Mercado, you get that massive amount of extra grenade energy and then also can combine it with a damage increasing perk, in this case, Onslaught just re-added into the weapon loot pool this season, this is going to make final blows with this weapon increase the rate of fire. Now this goes up to times three, so your normal rate of fire goes from this, and then after killing a few enemies, it goes to this. Now, I did a full breakdown of the Onslaught perk uh, in my breakneck video, and essentially, Onslaught times three, it's going to be killing enemies faster than Swashbuckler times three, which provides like a 33% damage boost. So mathematically, Onslaught times three, it's roughly equivalent to getting a 40% damage boost on your weapon. And remember, guys, it's not just rate of fire. Like, it doesn't say this in game, but Onslaught with every single tier is also gonna provide a scaling boost to reload speed. Check it out. Here is the normal reload for the Mercado with nothing going on, and then I go and get Onslaught times three, and then I reload, 
that's significantly quicker. So again, like that just makes Onslaught so much better. Not only is it providing a significant damage output increase, but it's also increasing your reload speed so you can get back to, you know, massively increasing your damage output yet again. Not to mention, machine guns are gonna pair great with Onslaught because of their large base magazine sizes. I mean, I have 52 rounds here and I don't have an appended or an extended mag. Those are the only two things that would make this roll better in my opinion. But if I put on a backup mag mod, I go to 66 rounds. So I have a ton of killing potential. I can ramp this up to times three and then I still have what like 50 plus rounds to slay out with. Now you might be thinking, well, if a large magazine is good, we go back to the circular logic and it can actually get Envious Assassin. And yes, that's true. Envious Assassin plus something like target lock, that is going to be quite powerful. But I actually don't think Envious is as good on machine guns as it is on other weapon types. Like if you have Envious on a grenade launcher, well, you're doing the ad clearing with your other weapons, your primary, your special, and then when you whip out your grenade launcher, it's against a boss and that, you know, increased magazine size is going to be huge. But with a machine gun, that's the weapon you're doing the ad clearing with. Like you're using a machine gun for ad clearing and in that case, Envious Assassin does nothing. You have to switch off of your ad clearing weapon to ad clear with your primary to go back to your ad clear. You know what I'm saying here, guys. It's certainly not bad, but again, I actually really do like Demolitionist in this spot because remember, Demo is also a magazine size extending perk. A lot of people forget this, but if you throw a grenade, as you can see, you instantly refill your magazine to max. So it's basically an instant double magazine size button that you can press whenever you want. And with a large base magazine size, again, with 66 rounds, you're actually slaying out so hard that you can often, like when you get low, you throw a grenade, instantly refill, and by the time you get low again, you pretty much have your grenade back already because of all of that passive grenade uh, ability energy gain because of all of the ads you've been killing. Not to mention, guys, we're talking about a strand machine gun here. You're often going to be using this within strand builds to get those matching elemental synergies. So when you're using a strand build, I mean, oh my goodness, extra grenades when you have suspending grenades, so important if you're running like a Titan suspend build, which I am in the background gameplay, you have grapples, and if you're running those, you want those recharged as fast as possible, then you have Threadling grenades. Like if you're running a Threadling build, again, you want as many of these grenades as possible. So getting that passive grenade regen, getting your grenades back so much more often is gonna be very, very good. Now, are there any alternative roles for the Mercado that you should look out for? Well, to be honest, I had an old one with Triple Tap and then Hatchling. I actually used it in a build guide video for the upgraded uh, Suspend Titan build. Uh, but yeah, that thing's getting replaced immediately by this new Mercado. With that being said, Triple Tap really isn't a terrible perk here. Uh, certainly with a machine gun, you put it over the head of a high value target or something like that, you can absolutely go to town and get a ton of ammo back. Not to mention, it can can also get a threat detector for reloads in the first column and then slice if you really really want to go hard into those strand synergies and it can also get golden tricorn in that second column instead of onslaught if you just want uh, those normal damage increasing perks right but i just think like demo plus onslaught it, it, giving you that grenade regen being able to instantly refill your magazine by throwing a grenade, keeping up Onslaught is so easy on this type of machine gun, and Onslaught times three, you are just ripping through enemies. The only problem actually is that your rate of fire is so high and your damage output is so insane on like normal level content, you actually might be like wasting ammo. Like you're just ripping through enemies so fast. You're killing enemies so fast. You're kind of overkilling them. And so this thing is actually best if you're at a little bit of a light level discrepancy where that massive increase in rate of fire like is really going to matter in taking down those uh, targets faster. But overall, just a fantastic, fantastic weapon, especially if you don't have a good circular logic like this thing is just incredible and again a very easy insert into existing strand builds which are so juiced right now and will be juiced all the way into the launch of the final shape in June 
thanks to those seasonal artifact perks. Guys, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.